Very often, the most important question is not if, but how an adventure took place. This one started with a very beautiful car. Let this car take you across your home country, introducing the people along the way like Zeprian from village Kosovo, who has two of the 50 tractor car hybrids existing in the country to this day. Get back on the road again as you rumble through the eastern Rodope mountains until you stumble across Enver, who kindly lets you use some of his car oil for your own vehicle. And then, down the road, find this fountain with this ominous text about how you should stop, rest, enjoy the cold spring water, and love life because the writer of the message only lived to be 18. Realize that life's waiting for you, just on the other side of the slope. reach the seaside and meet a group of friends admiring your car that tell you about this super isolated look-off point right at the edge of the water. Can the car make it? Of course it can. Stop and witness one of the best sunrises of your life. And then head off to the mystical Stranja region. Let the car introduce you to the local mayor and her husband before truly getting lost in another time period. If only for a moment. Stumble across a German couple with a solar panel carrying car nestled in the forest right below the famous Bulgarian monument to communism, Buzluce. And people told us the car wouldn't make it up the mountain pass. Stop at the cobblestone roads of the old capital Veliko Trnovo because that just makes sense. off to your final destination nestled in the Iskar Valley of Bulgaria. Admire the trains and their conductors. Realize you have to get back to the capital before nightfall. Appreciate everything the car has given you. Mm -hmm.